4,000 EU aid volunteers are expected to give a hand to help the world until 2020. Now, this is rather a big organization for the EU. The man responsible for it today is with me in the studio. It's Christus Stylianidis. Hello and welcome. You are responsible you. for humanitarian aid and crisis management in the EU. And as I said, you are responsible for this EU aid volunteer plan and the organization until 2020. So we'll try to go a bit in depth, make an in-depth analysis of all this. So my first question would be, uh, why has EU aid volunteers been created in fact? Um, there are three main reasons for the creation of the EU aid volunteers. Firstly, to complement uh, EU funded action on the ground. There was a void of volunteers in European Union instruments. This initiative aim, aims at filling this void by creating a pool of dedicate, dedicated volunteers ready to be deployed. Secondly, it's an initiative to strengthen local actors, to empower them, to help them recover and uh, better prepare. And uh, thirdly, to do capacity building in order to be ready when the next disaster strikes. This initiative is part of our overall strategy of preparedness, of readiness, and as I say many times, preparedness is better than cure. Our EU aid volunteers can contribute to that. But it's not the first time the EU is doing that. They have already uh, many people on the ground in the field working for it, for humanitarian aid. So what, what is the real added value of this initiative? Why is it really needed? Very good questions. <laughs> I think um, I'm sure that EU aid volunteers is a new tool in this respect for the EU. And uh, the added value is obvious. Um, it is a complementary to EU funded action, as I already mentioned. It can support the delivery of humanitarian aid on the ground. Through their training and skills can help deliver aid more efficiently and more effectively. At the same time, they contribute to the preparedness of affected communities. Secondly, this initiative gives to the volunteers the opportunity to put solidarity in practice, you know, a key European principle, to engage in collective action, to share and advocate the fundamental values of humanity, to enhance their common belonging as Europeans. And uh, thirdly, they are the ambassadors of Europe's humanitarian work. They are the advocates of Europe's effort to help the most vulnerable. They are the image of uh, humanitarian Europe. Well, they, they had the opportunity to do this already in, in the last years. It was, there was a pilot phase uh, yeah. before. You had the opportunity to meet all these uh, EU aid volunteers, testing uh, all the, the machine. We, we see these volunteers around here, and we, we saw some pictures with you uh, at, d during a bigger conference. But comes a point where there was a pilot phase, but w what's the next step now? To, if you really say, okay, what happens tomorrow, in fact? Well, there is no question. Uh, the pilot phase has achieved a lot. It uh, contributed to making the sector more professional, definitely. It strengthened communities in disaster preparedness and response. And it gave individuals the chance to take part in finding solutions. Now, we are moving to the start of the full-scale program. And I'm very pleased about this. Uh, firstly, the deployment of volunteers will start next year. Secondly, more than 18,000 volunteers will be ready to be deployed on the ground and do online volunteering, regardless of age. 
And thirdly, we will support organizations that are not yet ready to meet our quality standards, to get ready to participate, of course. We encourage organizations to get involved, and this is key in our efforts. Now, you talked about partner organizations and, and the organizations doing it, in fact, because it's, of course, not the European Commission, which will be the one institution organizing everything. You will call other organizations to do this. Which message do you, do you give to these, to these people? Uh, because it's rather complicated to organize. Will you always be there to give a hand, to help? My message is, is that the EU aid volunteers are the true ambassadors of our humanitarian work. And I look forward to welcome to the full program the first volunteers, to hear about their experiences, to learn about their stories. I have no doubt that volunteers have the determination and commitment to make a difference. They have the drive to help the most vulnerable people. My message, again, therefore, is simple and clear. Stay involved. Follow our progress. Join us. And I think we have audience to accept this clear message for the EU aid volunteers. Christos Dinunidis, thanks a lot for this information. We'll, we'll see how it will be in the future. We'll have maybe the possibility to talk to you uh, at the end of the program. Although again, it's up to 2020. So I hope to, to meet you again uh, within the next four to five years to, to discuss the results. Thanks a lot. If you need any other information on this issue, please refer to the website. For the rest, I wish you good luck and try to see you soon. Bye bye.